What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another very special guest. This is my mom. This is Kelly and today I am doing her makeup. So just like I kind of did my sister-in-law's makeup before, today I'm doing it on a different type of skin slash complexion person and no, I know, we don't look anything alike. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you up close uh, how I would do her makeup, a little youthful. I let her pick out her eyeshadow. She wanted to do sparkly, and we're gonna do more of like a green look, but toned down as always. So, um, gonna shut up, and we're just gonna get going. Let's go. Okay, so today I am going to skip past the first base part. So. On her skin, I already put the Peach and Lily Skin Refining Glass Serum. I had her do an exfoliation with the Wishful Skin uh, Glow Enzyme Scrub. And then we put on a moisturizer, and now I'm going to do the base. And yes, I will link everything all down below in the description box. To start the look off, I'm going to use a little bit of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer just right in the cheek and nose area. And then I'm gonna go in with a little sample size tube of the Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer Primer. Um, I actually use this all the time and I just keep getting more travel sizes of it and so I never buy one, but it's really, really, really good at like evening everything out and being very smooth. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Poreless Putty Primer and just put it right here on the cheeks Stipple that in so that the skin sort of absorbs that all the way across. Okay, a little bit of primer, which I'm gonna warm up on the skin so that I can press it in. The key with more like mature and aging skin, or even if you're somebody who has wrinkles, as I definitely have a lot of wrinkles as well, is less is more. I know that's a scary concept for a lot of makeup loving folks. I don't do less is more, like at all, <laughs> but do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so with mature and aging skin, you definitely wanna do thin layers. The more you build up, the cakier it's gonna look, and that's what nobody really, really wants. So I'm gonna go in with two things right now just to prep the skin. I'm gonna use the KVD Shake Primer, uh, the KKW Corrector. So the Shake Primer is actually marketed as a eyeshadow primer, which I will use as an eyeshadow primer. So I'm gonna do sort of all in one right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow primer so that her eyes are ready to go for later. And then I'm gonna take the rest of it and put it underneath her eyes. And this is gonna prime her eye area for concealer. And then this will hold that concealer in place a lot better. And then also give you more smoothness and more opacity in the concealer color. Okay, now going in with a little bit of corrector. And I like this one just because it's so thin. So we're just gonna do a little bit right in here. She actually has better under eyes than I do. And I'm just gonna blend that in with a little fluffy concealer brush. Okay, now that we have done a little bit of correcting, we are going to go in with foundation. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Illamasqua's Skin Base and the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This was actually gonna be in a haul video that I have coming up, but I have no patience, so I'm already using it. Okay, so I've got those two on here, and I'm actually gonna use a sponge and not a brush, and we're just gonna go in and apply very lightly. Now I'm gonna go in with a very, very light layer of concealer. I'm gonna use Dior's Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This is really, very creamy and very opaque. Okay, so we've created a nice smooth canvas. We've brightened up the under eye area and now we're gonna apply an extremely light layer of powder. So I'm gonna use my ever present Becca Hydra Mist Powder underneath the eyes. And set it without any creases so it stays that way. But this is such a really finely milled powder and it's cooling and hydrating that it's not too terrible underneath the eyes. I was gonna use a different powder but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use this for the rest of the face as well and just very lightly tap that in. Not too much, 
just little bits to sort of keep things in place. Okay, and now I'm gonna use a little bit of a Fix Makeup Spray. Um, this just sort of sets everything in, melts it all together and meshes it well, um, and then also provides a little bit of moisture. And it smells like roses, so it's amazing. Mm. So now that we have a nice base happening, I'm gonna go in and just add a very small amount of contour. Right here, just a small amount. You don't wanna go in too far and really hollow out the cheeks. You want it to still be really youthful and have a, like, a nice full plump face. So we're just gonna carve out a very small cheekbone on the side here. Since I don't wanna add too much layers and I don't wanna add thick product, I'm actually gonna use a foundation for the contour. So this is a Sicily foundation uh, called Fido Tint. It's super, super thin, but also very open opaque and, and very runny. So it'll be much easier to work with putting it down exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna add a little bit to that same makeup palette. I'm gonna take this really strange looking KVD uh, beauty brush. It's supposed to be a concealer brush, but I love the shape of it, so I use it for everything but that. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that um, foundation and we're gonna use this to carve out. Dab off the excess so it's not too much all at once. And always make sure you're up at the hairline and just do a small amount right there. And I'm gonna take a nice little fluffy brush and just sort of blend that out a little bit. The idea is not that we're creating strips and lines. Um, you're creating softer angles so it's not scary. And it just creates a little bit more youth to the face, really, I would say, and gives you sort of a definition on the side there. Okay, so since we're here, I'm also gonna add just a titch right here and just a titch right here. We're gonna add a little bit underneath the bottom lip to make it appear slightly fuller by creating a shadow. And then I'm gonna take in the chin. So now we have some small amount of angles and warmth and we're gonna go in with a bronzer. I don't know what else I would use other than this by Terry uh, Brightening CC Powder in Sunny Flash. It smells like roses and it has a little bit of luminous quality to it so it really brightens up your face. I'm just gonna give this a big old swirl and really bring it around the face. Warm everything up. And then always take it down the neck so everything blends together really nice. So a little bit more angles, a little bit more warmth happening across the face. Before I get into eyeshadow, I'm gonna uh, do the eyebrows and then we will work on eyeshadow and then blush. For that, I'm gonna use the Moira 3-in-1 uh, Perfect Brow. It has a pencil on one side, a spoolie on one, and powder on the end. Very cool product. We're just giving a little bit more depth and angles and creating a little bit of an angle right here. Okay, I'm gonna take out my spoolies portion and just sort of work that through. Nothing too crazy, you're not doing any kind of crazy sharp angles or anything. Then I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. This is just the clear gel. Use it to keep these guys in place. Then to create lift, I'm gonna use just a, any nude pencil really will work. I'm gonna use this one from Kiko Milano. And just going underneath the brow right here will create just a little bit of brightness and also will lift the eye. I'm just gonna run it right along the edges here. Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> I don't know, I've never seen myself with makeup. <laughs> Eyeshadow is everyone's favorite part. My mom really wanted to do, like I said before, green or something sparkly. So I'm gonna do a combo of three palettes. <laughs> because I just can't do one. I'm gonna use the Lorac uh, Mega Pro palette, um, which will also be featured in a haul video coming up soon as a neutral sort of transition base layer. A little bit of the uh, Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette for a bright pop of color, but mostly I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette because it has all these green babies in it. So, let's get crack a -lack. So this is the Lorac Makeup Pro palette. It has like every shade under the sun for mattes. And I'm gonna use this basically for transition shades, shades and also for blending. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Fawn and Camel Mix. This stuff is very pigmented and super silky and blendable.
of the green color and I blended it out really far over here because I wanted to make sure I had an elongated eye. But now we're gonna clean that up. To do that, I'm gonna use this Galactic Smudge Eraser Stick. This is like a lifesaver and you just use it exactly where you wanna smudge or clean up. So I'm gonna use it right along right here and you just go right like this. So now I'm gonna apply a little bit of eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick as a liquid liner. And I'm also going to use L'Oreal's Le Liner, which is amazing. You can put it in the water line and it doesn't even budge. And I'm using this really dark, like navy indigo blue. And we're gonna smudge it along the lash line here. And then we're gonna smudge it out. Now we're gonna add the smallest, tiny little amount of black liner with the feline flick just on the outside edges. Then we're gonna go through with mascara to sort of brighten up the eye area. I'm gonna use the Jones Road Beauty Mascara because it's bomb. The same blue indigo lay liner that we used before in the water line. That way it sort of evens everything out. I don't wanna use too much eyeliner. Even though we're doing like a really fun, not everyday look, we don't wanna necessarily weigh everything down with too much darkness. So we're not going to put any on the bottom as always and we're gonna fill it in the waterline a little bit just to create a thicker lash line. Okay, so on to our, the rest of our glam look. We're gonna start out with a little bit of blush and some highlight. I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss Weightless Veil Blush Palette in Coral Rose, but I'm just gonna use this blush only. Just a little flush of color because I'm going to go in with a cream based product afterwards. So a small flush of color. Now I'm going to use Danessa Myrick's Lightwork Palette. This is literally just a palette of the most amazing highlights you've ever seen in your entire life in a variety of shades. I'm gonna use probably a mixture of Common Sense um, and Smooth Sailing and I'm just going to dab a little bit and I'm just gonna do a very light layer. The best part about this palette and this particular product really does not emphasize texture, which is a really amazing idea in the concept of highlight because that's usually what highlight does is emphasize texture. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that white shade here with my pinky and do a little bit of inner corner. Now I'm going to use my favorite Physicians Formula Organic Wear Dewy Elixir Blush. This is a nice, lovely, like cream-based blush. Very pigmented, but dewy at the same time. Last but not least, we are going to do lips. I'm going to use these two products, which is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, which everyone knows I love and my same old uh, Wayne Goss uh, Essential Lip Pencil in Mauve. Okay, what do you think? Do you love it or no? No, I do. <laughs> I realize this is not like your everyday mature and aging skin. This is fun. Makeup can be fun. It doesn't matter how old you are, young, old, whatever is the age. If you wanna do green sparkles, do green sparkles. Live a little. She actually wanted to do it because she wanted to wear her little Christmas beanie. So we did green eyeshadow to match and it's just fun. Yeah, this is the final look. Do you like it? I love it. 
<laughs> there we go. Happy customer. All right, before we head out, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be reminded the next time I upload a video, which should be my Black Friday makeup haul, but I don't know. We'll see. Hit the like button if you like just watching people do fun makeup and learning new tips and tricks. And definitely don't forget to check out the community tab on my page, vote in one of the polls. Follow me over on Instagram and like to know, which I will link down below. In addition to all the makeup that we used in today's video, I will also link down below as well. And website should be coming soon. I'll definitely let you guys know when that happens. And yeah, that's all we got for today. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.